kettle's boiling. And the sun is out on my now dirty windows. Ooh, bright light. Ooh, there is the boys. Not a dog to be seen. What's in here? Is there a... There's a doggy in there. <laughs> <laughs> That's Daily Whaley's bum. Where's his head? Where's your head, Daily Whaley? I'm sorry, boy. Where are you? Oh, oh, his movement. Where are you, little man? I only want to see hello. Oh, you don't want to say hello, do you? Oh, good morning, Daily Whaley. You can go back to bed because Dad's just made a co Oh, okay then. Night night. <laughs> Mr. Whipster, there he is. I'm not going to shine the light on you. Good morning, Chipster. You go back to sleep. Dad's just making a coffee, that's all. You go back to sleep, my little man. Oh, you're nice and warm. He's tickled his belly. Oh, look at the sun. It looks like we picked the wrong day yesterday to go for that cruise. We should have left it till today, but I've got stuff to do today. Oh, take a look out there. Oh, it looks beautiful. Look at that. Gorgeous. I've got to make a few phone calls and inquiries, obviously, <laughs> because I've lost my job and I'm out of work. No furlough pay. My my pay ends today, but never mind. I can get through. Um, they're giving me, you know, my, my normal a month salary and holiday pay and to be fair they've been very fair so I'm not complaining at all and I fully understand the only thing I'm thinking about now is that coffee and just going back to bed and enjoying it <laughs> did I say what day it was I didn't it's fish and chip shop day it's Friday it's the 2nd of April see that that's Tom and John's mug going to bed with Tom and John's mug see you later folks had a lovely shower and I'm actually feeling very, very positive. I had a nice chat with Amy yesterday. Sat down and had a chat with Ian uh, yesterday. So we got things to sort out and it may be a good thing. Who knows? I'm looking at the positives. Um, I'm going to be saving a lot of money a month by not mooring in the, in the marina. That was my biggest outlay. So at least when that's gone, of course I can survive. Of course I can. And I know there's people a lot worse off than me. Trust me. So I'm counting my blessings this morning and I'm actually... I'm actually feeling pretty good this morning. Um, this could be a good thing. This could be a blessing in disguise. Perhaps it's the kick up the backside I needed. Uh, who knows? But I'm feeling positive, folks. I'm feeling good, actually. <laughs> yeah, Chip always wants a cracker bosun. <laughs> Look at him. He's <laughs> He'd be a Scooby snack. <laughs> I think I was being a bit keen coming out with just my t-shirt on. <laughs> it is nice though. It's not bad. Yeah, I was doing the maths last night and uh, basically I can survive quite nicely out there. You know, with just what it cost me to be in the marina, I could probably live on that, out on the cut. I can generate my own electric with the engine for now, because I have no solar. But I can generate electric. The only thing is, I'd have to come in the marina for the Elson Point and the water, which there's a small nominal fee for. Um, I'm not criticising the marina at all for what's happened. Not one little bit. In fact, if it was my business, I'd probably do the same. <laughs> um, it's business and uh, unfortunately these lockdowns and covids and everything else it's put a lot of businesses large and small uh, to the wall really it's changed the world hasn't it it's changed mine <laughs> and i'm sure it's changed a lot of others but we'll turn around now because the doggies have been to the toilet come on that can go and get his breakfast um yeah as i said earlier on when i was in the boat this might be the kick up the backside Perhaps I needed uh, to move on. Um, I am writing this year off basically now though, due to uh, COVID, I think. Up to now, well, having a look. 
it depends a lot depends on my circumstances at the moment I've got a bit going on so when that's done I can do the maths and perhaps there may be adventures this year there just may be coming on to late afternoon um, yeah it's not been a bad day it's been a lovely day weather wise uh, but Ian's been helping me out with uh, a lot of stuff that I needed sorted um, so it's been quite a stressful day really um, got a little bit of a headache I don't handle stuff like this very well anymore from coming from a stressful job uh, I used to handle it very well uh, it didn't bother me but I'm no good with it anymore um, so yeah it's tried on me today, so I haven't done any filming this afternoon. So this will be a very short Friday bit of a vlog. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm still in a positive attitude. The future could be still very rosy, very different, but very rosy. So uh, you've got to remain positive, and I am 100%. And one thing I am positive about is in about half an hour, we're having fish and chips delivered. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. If I don't do any more filming, We'll see you tomorrow. I'm late. I'm late for a very important... Uh, no, I'm not, am I? But I can hear the patter of little feet. Hello, boys. Have you come to greet me? Because Dad's being a lazy bones. Is Dad being a lazy bones? I've got to get my slippers off and my boots on, haven't I? Have I? Yes. Oh, dear. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's Saturday, the 3rd of April. And it's about ten past nine. I'm running really late, but I started editing a vlog. And uh, <laughs> with my memory, as it is, I had to get to a certain point when I was editing so I could save it, otherwise I'd lose track of where I am. Very complicated. It's probably very easy if you've got a half a brain, but for me it's very complicated. So I had to carry on, and then I thought, you know what, I'm going to make myself another coffee. So I did. <laughs> so the boys <laughs> have woke me up this morning. Well, they haven't. I was actually awake quite early, but uh, I'm trying to catch up with these vlogs, folks. <laughs> Well, I'm not being uh, fooled by calm waters this morning. I'm putting my coat on. Yesterday morning during my walk with Chippendale, I only had my T-shirt on and it got cold. <laughs> well, Mr Duck's enjoying himself there, look. Happy days. Yeah, I didn't do much filming yesterday. Started off quite positive, um, but I had a lot of stuff to sort out yesterday. And then it ended a little bit negative. But we had fish and chips, and that was a positive. <laughs> chips doing his pig impression this morning. <laughs> yeah, as you know, uh, Ian is running a 24 7 uh, live stream camera, and he previously uh, obtained permission off the marina management to run the camera, no problem whatsoever and he wasn't breaking any rules whatsoever uh, but there's been a complaint so he's had to turn it off which is very sad the majority of his viewers were pensioners housebound or unable to well housebound uh, people that were in care homes or other houses and uh, unable to get out morning how are you yeah, good thank you yeah, they're great, thanks. Thanks very much. And uh, come on. Steve, he's the young chap that helps out on the marina. Uh, yeah, um, so he was asked by the management if he could just take down his live feed. People are confused. It doesn't record. It's not recording anything. And he had permission and everything was great. But Ian, being the nice gent he is, he has decided to turn it off until we leave the marina next Thursday. So next Thursday, it will be back on again. And it won't be going off again. <laughs> There's just some very sad people that can't get on with their lives, unfortunately. And even 
having a go at people that are stuck in houses and people with mental health, I know we're getting a lot of freedom through that camera. We had loads of positive feedback, people were enjoying it, nobody was moaning uh, on the marina about it at all, in fact they welcomed it because they knew it was helping people. But some people just have to do it, don't they? And also Ian isn't making a penny out of that channel, he isn't monetizing it or doing anything through it. He just thought he'd do it just to help people out, give them something nice to look at. And isn't that sweet? Takes all sorts to make the world go round, I suppose. Wouldn't it be a better place without them? You may be able to hear the flag on the flagpole banging. It's the rope actually banging on the flagpole. It's a little bit of a breeze blowing this morning. But yeah, uh, no biggie. Um, less than a week, it'll be back on and you'll be able to have some live crews in and everything because out there in the public area, it doesn't matter. You can film what you like. Uh, it's just, it just amazes me, honestly, it just amazes me, but never mind, never mind. It'll soon be sorted, and we're okay about it. We've got enough to keep us busy, to be honest. Ian's got still got a few jobs to do on his boat before he goes out, so if anything, it'll give him more time to do that. Uh, and we wel we're looking forward to welcoming Steve back. That'll be nice. So it's all good. <laughs> it does look very grey out there this morning, doesn't it? You can feel it getting cooler. I've had my breakfast. Um, I've just got my prescription glasses. Um, my prescription glasses were hooked on a rail here uh, that the window blinds go under. And I did have another pair, but I can't find them anywhere. So Lord only knows where they've gone. But there appears to be a problem with these. Now, ever since I last wore them, they were on the bar. Just hooked on there. They, I haven't wore them because they were no good to me. But unfortunately, there they are. But there appears to be, you know, the little nose guard things. They're missing. I wonder what's happened to them. Hmm. So obviously when I go to the opticians, I'll take those and see if they can, well, of course they can repair them. There'll be something they can do. What a mystery that is. Uh, they were fine last time I wore them, but never mind. Uh, and I have got my prescription sunglasses here. Um, I'm going to take these to see if there's anything they can do with them. I don't know. Um, but, oh dear. <laughs> I'll get it sorted one way or another. Um, I can't wait, you know. I'm really excited about going to the opticians on Wednesday. And of course, my appointment later this month in the hospital to get these magic lenses fitted. Uh, well, stickers, basically, that go over your glasses. I can't wait. I don't know whether they do it there and then, but I'm sure I'll find out, won't I? Wow, I've just had a lovely surprise. I was just sat on the boat, nice and quiet, uh, editing uh, a vlog, funnily enough, and there was a knock on the boat. Now, I knew this young chap was coming. Um, his dad has bought a lovely little boat on the marina. He's bought it on the brokerage, and they've come down today to put it onto their jetty and it's a lovely little boat called Macy and it was a young chap called AJ and his dad was Craig. Uh, they both turned up and they bought me an easter egg. Bless them, I've got an easter egg! My one and only easter egg! <laughs> Thank you so much AJ! Thank you Craig! Very kind of you. Yes, so they're new uh, members, new people here at the marina and uh, it's lovely to see and it is a beautiful little boat. I believe it's his first boat and uh, yeah, quite aptly he's going to be mooring it next to a boat called Fusilier and he was an ex-Fusilier. <laughs> well, I think he is still a Fusilier now in the reserves uh, recruiting. So thank you very much both of you. I'm going to enjoy little bits of that egg. I'll take my time eating it but thank you very much and also their dog. I'm afraid it's slipped my mind the names. Um, it was so cold out there, but it's a lovely big Rottweiler, uh, friendly, friendly dog. Unfortunately, Chip wasn't as greeting to him as, uh, but Chip never is, is he? But uh, lovely to meet you both, and I'm sure I'm going to be seeing you again. Right, I better carry on editing. It's just lovely to see boats moving, isn't it? It is truly lovely to see boats moving again. Uh, people being free to do what they want to do. 
slowly things are kind of come back to normal. Well, if there ever is going to be a normal again, it's just nice to see. I'm loving that new shower head. It, uh, it's going to save water actually. It's a smaller shower head and because it's smaller, it's a higher impact shower and it's very nice. Well, good morning. It's Sunday, the 4th of April. Let's go and have a look at the boys. I love this bit. Now, I tucked... Oh, he's still there. <laughs> good. Oh, he's not interested. Good morning, Daily Whaley. I tucked you in there. You haven't moved. You haven't moved all night. <laughs> you go back to sleep. Dad's going to get dressed. Dad'll get dressed, OK? Yeah, Dad'll get dressed. Hello, little baby. Hello. Means your brother. Darius. What on earth have you done in there, Chipster? Oh, there you are. Good morning, little... You're not interested either this morning, are you? Good morning. Oh, there's the little prince. What, what are you doing? You're looking for your brother. He's in there. He's safe. He's safe. Ooh. Hello, Daily Whaley. Well, I'm awake, dressed, all ready to go now. Well, nearly ready to go. I'll get their leads, actually, and then I've got to put my boots on and get out there. But it looks a lovely sunny day. Um, I believe it's going to be really, really cold. In fact, they forecast snow for the beginning of next week. Now, where did I put the leads? There they are. Yes, they forecast snow uh, for the beginning of next week and uh, it looks like on Thursday, the day that uh, Ian and I are leaving, it's not looking good. It looks like it's going to be very windy. So we're looking for Armco moorings or ring moorings uh, rather than hammering pins in. We don't want to be literally on pins when we moor out there. I tell you what, take a quick look out there. It's gorgeous. Yep, the waters are just so still. It's beautiful sunshine really is gorgeous. Not a breeze. Perfect cruising weather today. Neil's waiting patiently. No sign of Big Bro, though. He normally comes out when I get the leads out. You all right, Chipster? Chipster? I can hear him. Chipster? You coming out? Chip? Chip? <laughs> I can hear him snorting in there. Are you coming out today? Oh, he's very tired. Oh, that's it. <laughs> he's up and about. He's just very tired boy this morning. Were you out clubbing, Chip? Were you out clubbing? Oh, dear me. You've been watching your brother too much. There's a really heavy dew this morning. Really heavy. But it's absolutely glorious out here this morning. Beautiful. Oh, my favourite type of morning. Beautiful. Yeah, it's not just Ian and I that are feeling the pinch. There's two boats just going out this morning. One's already left. What time is it? It's only early. Well, it's nine o'clock now. I thought it was earlier, actually, but it's nine o'clock. One's already gone, the other one's just going out. Obviously, we're limited to where we can go uh, due to the bridge. <laughs> Beautiful morning. Uh, Chugs is just moored up there and already I've had to stop to talk to four people. I don't mean that to sound bad. It was lovely stopping to talking to uh, four people. It's just gorgeous. Absolutely lovely. And uh, yeah, OK, I've lost my job and I've got to try and get some money in. Um, obviously, I've got to try and get some money in, but I can't help but feel happy. I'm going out on Thursday, going out on the cup where I'm happier. I've got an appointment at my opticians on Wednesday for some new prescription glasses, and even those are going to help. I might see two or three of everything, but hopefully it'll be in focus. Um, <laughs> and then, of course, later on in the month, I've got an appointment to get these prisms attached to my glasses and that should stop my double vision so uh, yeah put it this way I've got 
more to look forward to than to dread, haven't I? When you look at it like that. So uh, that's what I'm thinking. And uh, the other couple of days when we went out cruising, you know, it's even though it's local waters and it's waters I know very, very, very well. They all looked so different on those couple of days, trust me. They, they looked so different and it all felt different. I suppose by the end of the summer, if the breach isn't fixed and I can't go anywhere, I'm going to get very fed up with them. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, well, me and the bat dogs are going to head back now and get a breakfast. Aren't we, bat dog? Yeah. <laughs> Wow, it's been a beautiful day. It has been cool, but the sun's been out. I've been quite busy. I've uh, resealed around my sink, ripped out all the old sealant and resealed that. I've swept through the boat. Um, it's surprising what you get. It's in the nooks and crannies. So I've swept through all the boat. I've mopped the floor with boiling hot uh, water and disinfectant and floor cleaner and everything in it that made bubbles. So the floor's nice and clean. Um, I've wiped through with lovely lemon and antiseptic wipes and give it a good clean. The wind is neat doing, but uh, I think I'm having a break. I've done enough for today and I've just had a, a little bit of dinner. But now I've got two very needy little boys that want to go for a walk in the sun. Yeah, it's a lovely afternoon. It's hard to believe. But tomorrow and Tuesday, I think it is, we're supposed to be getting snow. <laughs> Look at that sky. <laughs> uh, yeah, supposed to be, temperatures are supposed to be dropping like crazy. Tomorrow, Tuesday, Wednesday, I believe. And I believe Thursday, when uh, I leave the marina, it's going to be really cold. <clears throat> but we're hoping it's going to remain dry. So at least if we can wrap up, get moored up and get the fire lit and, uh, and get warm anyway. Uh, shopping on Tuesday. So I'll go shopping and another restock. Um, I've got my eye appointment on Wednesday. And in between that, I've got to do all my washing and ironing and get all that done. It's going to be cold tomorrow. I think tomorrow might be an ironing day. Tuesday, I might get all the washing done and then finish off what bit of ironing I've got to do. Uh, get all that done Tuesday. And then Wednesday, perhaps, I can just unwind, go and get my uh, eyes done for my prescription glasses. And then Thursday, I think we all know what's happening. I'm looking forward to it. It'll be nice. It'll be different. Ah, well, I've had me tea. I've just uh, had buttered chicken. It wasn't the best, to be honest, but uh, never mind. Um, the boys are flat out there. Uh, Chip's just been dreaming. He's been barking in his sleep. He's flat out. <laughs> I've had to shut the blinds this side of the boat. Uh, the sun was very bright. But obviously the sun's going down now. It's getting, well, it, believe it or not, it's 10 to 7 in the evening. So I'm closing the bow doors and getting us all cosied in because the time's getting on and it is starting to get cold. As I say, it's hard to believe. They forecast snow uh, for tomorrow. But I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the fridge, seeing as I've had my tea, and I'm having part of that lovely little Easter egg that AJ got me for Easter. Cheers, AJ. <laughs> yep, got my Easter egg. So I'm going to sit down and have a bit of that while watching uh, The Incredible Shrinking Man. Yep, thanks very much, AJ. You're a star. <laughs>